Hello, I'm Mrs Williams and I'm the head teacher of Barley Close Primary School and I'm really looking forward to welcoming you to starting with us in September. Now some of you might be already used to coming to our nursery so you'll be used to seeing me out and about and coming down to your classroom. For some of you I'll be completely new and also you'll be starting in a classroom which you might not be used to. Now at the moment we can't all come in to show you our classroom so we've decided to put together a video of the different areas of school that you will be seeing when you start with us in September and you can then have a look and see what they're like. So here we are walking up the corridor past the first office and then ahead of us we have alligator and round the corner we have iguana class. Here are the doors into our school hall and we have two parts to our hall. This one here which is the smaller part of the hall where we have our laptops and our iPads and then this partition opens up at lunchtime and for assemblies to make us one big hall where everyone can sit. So if I head into this part of the hall, you'll be able to see the screen in front of you which displays things for our assemblies. And here we are set up for our day today. Over there is the hatch for lunchtime where you queue up and get your food. And these are the benches that we sit on at lunchtime and another one will be joined to that to make a table. So about 10 of you can sit around and chat while you're having your lunch. So it's a really big, lovely space. Um, we've got the climbing frame there, which we get out in PE. Over on the side of there is the teacher laptop to help play music in assembly. We have our walk to school board over there. See there we've got the PE cupboard and the sensory room. And we've got our attendance board over here. And up on the side here, we have some work displayed from all the classes, but also our random acts of kindness where we're encouraging everyone to write down the kind things that everybody does in school on a daily basis. So this is where we queue up for lunch. If you're school dinners, you'll come up here, you will take a knife and a fork and a spoon, and then you'll queue up here. And here there will be a member of staff who will ask you for your name and whatever you've ordered will then be given to you. Now here is our salad bar. This is usually filled up with lots of tomatoes, cucumber, pasta, couscous, raisins, bread that you can eat. And there's a three weekly menu and you and your families can choose what you have. We also have a jacket potato option as well as a sandwiches and wraps each day with a variety of fillings. Now if I come back here, this is the tray that you would then use at the end to put when you finish your dinner. This is where you then come to empty your food and an adult will be here to help you. So your cups will be in one pot, any food that you don't want will go in the waste and then your cutlery and then the trays at the end there and then we can make sure we sort everything and clean it ready for the next day. So this is the outside, this is the gate that you will come through when you have finished at the end of each morning and this is the path you will walk up with your teacher up to the hall to go and have your lunch, that's the side of our swimming pool here. Now our pan round now so you can see this is our year one classrooms here and if I move on round you will see the outside space that you can access. So down at the bottom there there's a shed which has toy cars, dressing up books and things and some puzzles and quiet activities that's our bus called Mavis and Mavis has lots of things on the bus with Mrs Burton who does fun activities and it's a nice quiet space for you to go to. And then we have a masses and masses of open space. This bit down here is really nice, there's lots of tyres and there's a nice little place for you to build dens and things. And then over here we have our climbing area and you can see some of our key worker children are in today and there's lots of things you might come up here for your PE yeah, yeah. So this is the rest of our food here. And you can go as far as the trees that you can see. And we have lots of activities out here at playtime and lunchtime. Now it looks a really big space, but when you start with us, you will have, your teachers will be out here and there'll be a lunchtime supervisor who will be part of your class, who will check in with you and make sure you know where you are. And you see there's lots of football posts, if you're into football, you can do that. There'll be lots of mats so if you're into forward rolls and handstands. And then we've got our um, playground area here as well. 
on our lunchtime staff are fantastic at doing activities and games and tag and things out here with you as well. There's always lots of den building activities and lots of shelter and you can see you've got some tables and chairs out here where you can do activities. If you do hurt yourself there'll be a first aid bench where you can go and make sure you get some looking after for one of the lunchtime stuff. So this is the outside door where you will go in and out to assemblies, to PE in the hall and to your lunch and once you come outside here you can then go out and walk up the steps onto the playground and then out onto the grass and then round here is where you'll line up ready to go back into your class at one o'clock where your teachers will meet you. Now in this building here are year five and six and you won't really need to come into this bit until you've been in school for quite a while. And then this here is our grubby club and Mrs King comes out here to do her gardening and you'll be able to help with the weeding and watering and we've got lots of onions and strawberries and rhubarb growing at the moment. So this is where our reception children first of all come in. Some of you have might come down past the swimming pool at the entrance you can see in front of you the blue gates there and that's the entrance from the main playground so if you've got older brothers and sisters you might drop them off first and then round here is the own pathway that just goes down to our reception and year one classrooms. So if we follow the path down the building on our right hand side is the swimming pool and that's currently closed but should be reopened again for September, fingers crossed. And here we go now through the gate. Now this gate is open at 8.45 and closes at 9 o'clock and will open again at the end of the day at 3.15. And this is your playground. This is the playground just for our reception children here. So this is your outside space. So you've got a lovely bit under the cover here and you have a stage and like a sandpit area um, with the grey green tray sorry on top of it at the moment. There's places to sit, there's places to read, um, there's a little shed here which um, has been a cafe, maybe a restaurant, a library, um, a somewhere where you can watch the birds and then if I go back round We've got some climbing equipment as well. Um, these four poles here have got some netting on top. And then looking down, you can see our nursery down at the bottom there. And they will sometimes come and use our playground as well. And then we have a water feature here. And there is year one. And you will see the year one children coming in and out. And that's where you'll be heading to this time next year. So if we head down here, you can see there's a storyteller's chair here. At the moment it's really lovely and green, lots of plants, lots of places. We've got some bamboo here with some places that you can build dens and do some learning in. And at the bottom we've got some construction to help you with your building. Over here we've got our mud kitchen. Zoom in. There you go and you can see the rest of the playground here. And then down at the bottom we've got our, some numbers and some signs. Um, in the sheds there we keep our bikes and scooters that you'll be able to use. It's a little playhouse there. And if I move around here, you've got your storytelling chair and board.